Greetings guys, this is Sima, and welcome to the second in what I hope is going to be a, a nice series of video tutorials. Basically these tutorials are going to be used to answer common questions that are addressed to me and just people in the guild in general. This particular video is about stacking quests. So let's go about and show you how you do this. Um, we're in Tranquil Hill right now. I have a level 11 character. So the first thing I can do is I can go to the guild town and pick up a guild quest that matches my level. So I'll open the guild board and I'll go to base. And then I'll think of something witty to say during your transition. Oh, too late. So how you pick up guild quests in the town is you simply visit the bulletin board, which is going to be right in the center of town. They're sorted by levels, so we want to look for the part of the list that, of course, matches our level. This one is 8 through 23. We're level 11. Let's see what this one says. Level requirement 8. This one is level requirement 13, so we'll hold off on that one. We'll just buy one of these. Let's read it real close and make sure it's the right map. Okay, this alert was issued by Seabell and Tranquil Hill. Good. Now, we'll leave the town. Just easy. Press G for guild board and leave town. And we'll think of something else witty to say during the transition. Uh, let's see. Three nuns walk into a bar. Uh, no, okay, that one won't work. <laughs> okay, um, we're back here. Let's see. First we'll activate... Wrong button. First we'll activate our guild quest by right-clicking on it. Okay. Accept. Oh, here's the first part of our quest stacking right here. Uh, notice these particular mobs and their names. Now we gotta go and find a book quest. In the towns, usually it's the general merchant who sells the books. So we'll talk to him. And he has books. Yes, he does. Oh, but they require... There we go. Level 8. That's good. We'll take this book. And we'll activate the book. Okay, okay. Uh, notice this. Look at this. this. This is the important part. It's the name of this monster. It matches the name of this one. And this too, the Starshell Hermit Crab, it matches this one right here. So we've already stacked two quests already. Now, we look on our map and we find exclamation marks. Since I just got here, I only have this one. That's a story quest. It's the golden, ex golden exclamation mark. So we walk to him, and we make jokes about my computer's lagging. Yay! Talk to him. See what quests we have. Aha! This one. Angeli and getting some item from a Starshell Hermit Crab. Perfect. Okay. Now so far we have these two monsters we can take out for three quests. But I see he has a repeatable. What's up with this? Let's check it out. Aha! Oh, wait. Okay, he's a guy I turned in this, this quest to, so never mind. Let's check our map and make sure there aren't any more quests available. Okay. So, here's what we have. We have three quests stacked. I can't give you an example of stacking all four quests, because we don't have any repeatable quests available at the moment. But this is basically the idea right here. We have right here, this is the guild quest. And right here, this is a book quest. And right here, this is the story quest. Now later on, we can come back to this guy and get a repeatable quest. And how you know it's not a, a guild quest, I mean, how you know it's not a guild quest. <laughs> how you know it's gonna, not going to be a story quest is just the color of the exclamation marks. Um, let me move so you can see it. Oh, you're not going to be able to see it because it's active. Okay, sorry. Um, 
those golden exclamation marks are story quests, and the blue ones are re just regular repeatable quests. So basically, to stack your quests, you buy a book, you buy a guild quest, you do your golden quests, and you look for blue quests, the so-called repeatable quests, that also match with the monsters. And that's about it. I'm going to cut off the video here and go kill these guys, since I don't think you want to watch me grind them. And then I'll, I'll come back and we'll see, you know, how much experience I get for turning in three quests at once. 39% and 4%. Okay, I'll see you soon. Hi again, guys. I'm back. Um, I've killed the monsters, and I see that I made a mistake when I was trying to stack my quests. You see these guys right here, the Axe Eagle and Tyrion Eagle? Well, as you can see, none of my other quests offer, offer a reward for me killing those guys. Um, so, I might have activated this guild quest a little bit too early, but that's alright. I went ahead and killed them anyway, and now let's go turn in. From, well, <laughs> in killing them I gained some, some experience, as you can tell, so that's not good. Um, I don't remember what the original amount was, but it doesn't really matter. We'll open our book and turn this one in. And we'll talk to this guy and turn this quest in. And that's basically it. Um, I almost leveled. So, yeah, second quest. It's, it's really that simple. Um, just make sure to activate your guild quests and your book quests and your story quests and your repeatable quests. The blue exclamation marks as well. And if you do it right, you can be turning in many quests at once, over and over and over again. And that's the easiest way to level quickly. The simplest way to level quickly. There are other ways, but they involve planning your class very specifically and knowing how to solo certain dungeons. And that's an entirely different subject. I hope this was uh, instructive in some way, and I have to apologize um, for my my mic manners. <laughs> I'm still learning how to talk on this thing. Okay, uh, I'll see you guys later. Take care.